Hello, Mark Crossfield here, and today we're going to talk a little bit about how to cure your hook. So if you're someone who struggles from a ball spinning too much to the left in the air, so moving right to left in the air, suffering from a hook, I'm going to give you some drills and some tips to try and help you hit some better shots and some straighter shots and understand why you're getting that horrible hook. Let's get stuck in. So, struggling from a hook. First of all, so a hook is something which is spinning from right to left in the air, say moving 10, 15 plus yards in the air. So big spin from right to the left. A hook can start left and hook further left. It can start the target and hook off target. It can equally start to the right and then hook back. It's not how it so much relates to target, but often or not it ends up left to target as a rule. It's to do with how much spin you've got on the ball and how much you've got that ball moving from right to left in the air. So that's what your hook is. Hook is caused simply by you getting a contradiction between the face at impact, so where the face points at impact, and the path of the club. If these two angles contradict each other in a certain way, that creates the spin that creates the hooking to the left shots. So for instance, give me a few, I'll give you a few examples. If I hit a shot, and if my club was to point at the target as I strike the ball, but my path of my club is traveling to the right of the target, that will create draw or hook spin subject to how contradictory those two angles are. So if my face is zero degrees, say, hits the ball, it's straight, and I swing 10 degrees into out, that's gonna create a lot of spin, but we'll start with a face point, which is straight, and then it's gonna hook off to the left. I could hit the ball with my face two degrees closed, swing 10 degrees into out, that ball's gonna start left and then hook left. I could simply uh, hit the ball also with my face open. This is the one that confuses people. So my face could be two degrees open to target. But if my path is 10 degrees to the right, that contradiction between those two is what's going to cause that ball to start right and then hook back to the left. So it's not to do with where it goes in relationship to target so much. Obviously, that's the end goal. It's to do with the contradiction between the face and the path. And subject to where that face is at impact will make it start left, start the target or start right. It's the spin that you want to get rid of. Now hookers tend to suffer, generally nine times out of ten, it's a lot to do with the grip, the way they hold the club. So what happens, they hold the club in a way that contradicts the face to the hands. So as they swing the club, the face starts to twist and then they can't recover this twist. So the face will tend to be delivered a little bit close. So they tend to swing more out to the right push their hips forward, shove their hands out to try and contradict those two angles. So the face pointing left, swing to the right to try and stop it going left because that face is closed, remember, because of the grip and that causes the spin. So the first port of call if you want to fix your hook is you've got to check your grip. So a couple of checkpoints, I mean, there's loads of grip videos around, I've done lots. Two knuckles on the left hand and the key that I see most of all with people is not getting the right hand on top of the club enough, too much underneath. So too much in the fist of the right hand, getting the club, uh, the hand underneath the club and that twists the face in the backswing, downswing or any part of the swing. So grip's your first paw of call. If you haven't got a neutral grip, so let's say I'm going to hit one here where I put my right hand underneath the club. What happens as soon as I take the club back? It tends to present itself more to the ball. It hoods, it closes. The face stays pointing down at the ground, gets in a classic closed position. Now from there, I can only start that ball left unless I try and push my hips forward, swing out to the right. Then I get those two contradictions in the angles between the face and the path, and I get my hook. Ball started just right at target. I mean, that's spun 40, 50 yards off to the left. All to do with my grip twisting that face and then contradicting the two angles to try and hit target. So grip's your first port of call. Second port of call, once you've got your grip sorted, simply take the club back to around parallel to the ground. Must get the toe of the club pointing more up towards the sky. Don't want to be hooding this club down towards the ground. I, did, I posted a video on this the other day, so check out how the club's meant to rotate with your body on the way through. You don't want it moving separately from your body. But if that face gets contradicted to your body and your hands again that's where the hook's coming from so second port of call once you've got your grip sorted remember is that second position there where your face is or your shaft is powered out to the ground you want the face pointing a little bit more up to the sky if you're hitting those positions and you're still hooking a simple drill and it's simple in theory but hard in practice is i want you to start feeling that you're hitting 
your shots and when you're hitting your shots I want you to really concentrate on exiting with the club to the left of target so what I mean by that feel that as you're coming in to hit the ball that as you hit the ball you're exiting to the left hand side so if this ball here is my target hitting this one I want you to feel that you're exiting left feel like you're swinging almost 10 yards left of target now just do a few shots with that at the start don't think about club face just exit left and what will tend to happen is because you'll feel like you're going to hit the ball left you'll generally if you've got some coordination you will counteract that feeling of hitting left by trying to leave the face more open you won't have that temptation to want to hook the face over so you're going to try and swing left about 10 yards left and at the same time don't think about the face just let the face work let the face do whatever it does but if you do this to swing 10 yards left close the face hook it even further left you're going to have to put a second forward in which is to swing 10 yards left but at the same time as you're swinging 10 yards left really feel like you're presenting the face much more out to for me of the trees on the right so it's a complete what you'd call hold off follow through so you're hitting 10 yards left while holding your hands off so a conscious effort to feel like you're almost chopping the ball from left to right and what you'll find certainly if you're a hooker is that will straighten you out it might feel so always remember there's actually there's feel and then there's reality you'll feel like you're hitting 10 yards left and holding the face off but because you're so used to closing the face and swinging 10 20 yards to the right it'll actually put you somewhere in the middle ground so look gotta if you want to fix your hooks start with your grip you gotta start with your fundamentals your basics think about your takeaway and where your face is getting to and if that's not fixing it for you the hardcore drill swing 10 yards left try and get the ball starting left of target while at the same time holding the face off see if you can actually achieve the shot that, that swing creates which is a left to right shot i think you'll struggle you'll find if you do that drill you'll hit the ball straighter you'll hit the ball better and you'll start to realize what it feels like not to hit the ball with such a close face and a temptation to swing miles out to the right look i hope that helps post a comment let me know down below i'd love to hear what you guys have got to say thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video so if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.